six. So today probably we will cover the Bhava Karakas, Gra Karakas, and I'll touch Murtam also. Murtam is not that much a big year, but still, uh, what is the purpose and how we have to see? It's like a last minute resort, okay? This uh, Murtam. Last minute resort. Why? Because ideally, whenever you want to see a Murtam, there are a lot of rules set by many books, like Murtam, Adhyam, many books are there. But I usually follow Kala Prakashika. Okay. Kala Prakashika is one of the very best book in terms of modern days. Okay. So those things you have to follow. All the Panchanga elements. Okay. Uh, the five elements. Right. Then there are 21 different kinds of doshas. Then there are cancellations. Then Jupiter aspecting Lagna. Huh? Mahendra Yogam. Like many things are there. Those things if you see and give only the person will get a proper murtam result. But this usually happens when the event is planned. But when the event is not planned, then on a urgent basis, you cannot go and check all these things. Of course, today you have mobile, we can get everything. Just imagine like 20 years before, we hardly had any Android mobile or any, anything, right? So those days, it was very difficult if you don't even have a panchangam. Of course, professional astrologers will always carry their bag with the panchangam. Two or different publishers they will take and they will carry but uh, otherwise it would have been difficult so in that cases this worked very much but nothing wrong in knowing even you for example you want to take certain task in office you want to accept a project you want to ask accept a assignment or you want to suggest something out of the traditional thing where you want to give more weightage so you can use this as uh, additional thing okay so let us see that also today and uh, let us start the class <laughs> first thing you should always uh, understand one thing okay before we go into the karakas udayam lord exalted he is capable of doing that thing okay udayam lord debilitated means ideally he is in a weak position okay he doesn't have that capability or eligibility to perform that work why udayam lord means the native himself okay Udayam Lord means the native himself. Okay. And uh, even he is exalted, obviously he is having that eligibility. When he is debilitated, he is either weak or he cannot do that work. And when Udayam Lord is in 8th house, as I said, Udaya Vedai, means uh, he, is, he himself will be the problem for that. Okay. Uh, I mean, if he is, he is asking a question which, which may not be relevant. Okay. Or he is doing, for example, if it is marriage, it is not like he is capable, but he himself will be the problem for that marriage. Okay. So, it, like I said, it indicates two extremities like in yesterday's class. Okay. So, these things you should always keep in the mind. And Arada Veda, I already told you, when Aradam is in eighth, it doesn't have the Daivanukula or God's blessing. With that in case, uh, we will just see one, uh, one small case study and we will quickly run into the uh, Karakas. Because after Karakas, all remaining four classes, we can play with the case studies, however we want. Okay. So take one uh, chart. Uh, in that chart, to take uh, Meena Udayam. Meena Udayam and uh, Mars in Udayam. Everything is Jamagra only. Okay. If it is there any transit planet, I'll tell you what is the transit planet. I'll specifically mention transit planet. If I don't mention as a transit planet, then it all independence, you can take it as Jamagra. So, Meena Udayam, Mars in Udayam, and Jupiter, obviously will come in Makara Rashi. Right. Now, if you see, this was a chart which I took very long back. Okay. So, the person asked only one thing. Okay. He asked me, Sir, will I be able to... Uh, successfully complete my md and become a surgeon okay so i told him only see if we observe here uh, surgeon means uh, usually it's not md they call it as ms okay surgeon so surgeon means mars is the karaka planet that is correct right so mars is the karaka planet in udayam and if you take second plan a second condition what is the condition of udaya adipati udaya adipati is in 10th house correct that is also, sorry, Buddha Adipati is in 11th house. That is also good. So, two things are good. But what is bad here? Udaya Lord is debilitated. Correct. So, I told them, I told him, 
you will definitely uh, do with uh, your uh, mbbs you will do your uh, uh, i mean ms surgery but it will not be useful for you probably i told okay he told why you are saying like that sir i am very much interested in medical so only i did my mbbs i want to enhance it more still I, so only i am doing this uh, ms surgery or something he told so i told okay fine this is the thing and uh, his father was very close to us very close client because uh, um, father is an ias officer okay and you will not believe it he did his ms completely he got everything and very good marks he got after clearing ms he went and uh, uh, practiced for uh, one year or so then what happened in vijayawada sam hospital he practiced then he wrote upsc examination and today he is an ifs officer in south africa so where is that uh, ms degree being <laughs> helpful to you? understand so those things you will get with experience okay always see from all the angle immediately don't tell debilitated over okay see the other conditions also that is the reason i say natal chart means fixed rules uh, only this will come prashna means rules your creativity and your intuition you can say uh, example, ancestral right? property can be considered sir for this no, ancestral property already told right fifth bhava oh. okay sir so uh, not so, okay uh, so only we told fourth bhava is selling of ancestral property okay sir okay like uh, insurance unearned money and all will not look into that uh, all that uh, uh, unexpected money commission will come in eighth bhava only okay sir dowry and dowry what is the hard work you are putting huh? right though it's not a correct practice but you get it very easily right from wife side's income so dowry is also eighth bhava only ninth bhava sir bhava. alimony will also come in eighth bhava only right ah your spouse money right seventh bhava is your spouse from him you are getting the money so eighth bhava is alimony also See, anything you get uh, from eighth bhava it is uh, i mean it will not give you that happiness so 2019 uh, i gave one prediction to one doctor okay she was from kaiser hospital gastroenterologist after that uh, she was very stunned with her predictions everything then i think uh, uh, before covid uh, just uh, five or six months before she brought a house for 10 crore and and she sent me a business class ticket and went to america i stayed 10 days she took me to disneyland everything she took me to kaiser hospital everything everywhere and uh, she introduced me then i got some uh, seven eight planes there also cardiologist surgeon so the surgeon was a bla- i mean i should not tell uh, that whites and blacks it blacks like that okay so uh, very good they all were shocked then i came back then for my next birthday in september she gifted me iphone okay told job Oh. because last time you were quick to identify for saturn this time i didn't want to give that chance so i told off first <laughs> <laughs> so sir uh, last rites of father are also some people karma, see from karma also tenth bhava only correct generally whenever is uh, in uh, if it is a second progression of uh, saturn and jupiter also has completed four progressions or it is in fifth progression when saturn is going on rahu or rahu is going on saturn uh, we can very easily say the person is going to perform last rites or one of the very close members of the family is going to die sir once again okay no general information uh, not related to this i told like whenever Uh, there is a second progression of saturn and the person is uh, running either the fifth uh, uh, progression of jupiter that time if saturn is going on rahu or rahu is going on saturn okay if one of the planets bukti or nina dasha even if bukti is also running then there is high possibility he may perform lost rites or very close member of the family might die so 11th bhava uh, extra marital affair long time friends okay long time friends means these are the friends who will not expect anything in return from you they are uh, to be they are there only for your friendship okay and there is no line between that friendship that can even cross the limits understand when i say the word cross the limits you can understand 
fixed deposit usually fixed deposit is of longer time now only they are giving monthly payout everything but fixed deposit only i am giving the notes with lot of confidence okay what yes, i sir, say can you. disappear but what <laughs> i give in document cannot disappear right so no no i just clarifying sir so that no, 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 saying, no, okay because ah, so no, you not worry hmm. next is uh, recovery from disease okay third wave and so on fourth wave fifth wave everything is third baba only i mean sorry 11th baba only okay sir third wave and so on okay hmm. Twelfth Baba investment expense hospital settling in abroad companies operating in multiple countries. Please repeat, sir. Investment ex investment medical expense companies operating in multiple countries abroad settlement. Just hold. No, that's all. Because questions and investment. Because beyond that, they don't uh, ask much questions related to health, Baba. Will there be a medical expense? They will ask. Or can I do an investment? They will ask. Okay. Or they will ask, will I go for abroad and settle there only? They will ask. Right. So beyond this, what is question related to health, Baba? Much, nothing much will come. If it's related to medical astrology, we can take the feet, all those things. But like I said, one separate session will take in medical astrology itself. 